Several small communities like Klamath River are being threatened by the Beaver Fire tonight, but residents are stepping up to help firefighters battling that blaze. NBC 5's Matt Jordan was in Northern California today. He talked to some homeowners who are actually helping crews. Matt? Natalie, Craig, as flames inch closer to homes and structures, the small communities of Klamath River and Beaver Creek are doing anything and everything they can to keep the flames away from themselves and their neighbors. As smoke fills the skies, an eerie glow falls over the community of Klamath River. The smoke's really hard for people to handle, and a lot of people's houses have been threatened. You know, we've had together, doing everything they can to stop flames from spreading just feet from their homes. When you're seeing, you know, 40, 50 foot flames coming, it's sort of spooky. Roger Derry has lived in this Klamath River home for almost 40 years and he's not losing it without a fight. I have a, a tractor that I put a like a 20 or 30 foot line all the way around the house, you know, far enough away that there was no way the fire could have actually got to the house. But. And while some Klamath River residents are defending their homes, others are reaching out to help crews on the front lines. Power went out the other night and we had some local folks offer to let us come use their internet and phones because we didn't have any. I, I just think that really shows how community minded these folks are. The people of this tiny North California town hoping that when the smoke clears, well, kind of a tight knit community here, they'll remain as strong as ever. With nearly 500 personnel working the blaze, Klamath River businesses like Quigley's General Store say they've extended hours to help fire crews even during the night shift. Live in studio, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.